Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Understanding Power Efficiency Measurements. In this presentation, we'll provide a short technical introduction to how oscilloscopes are used to measure power supply efficiency. This presentation assumes a basic understanding of power supply concepts. If you're not already familiar with linear and or switching mode power supplies, or if you'd like a brief review, you might want to watch the presentations Understanding Linear Power Supplies and or Understanding Switching Mode Power Supplies before beginning this presentation. Power supplies are used to convert AC to DC or to convert one DC voltage level to another. This is done using a combination of transformers, diodes, capacitors, and other components. Well-designed modern power supplies often have very high efficiencies. 90 to 95 percent or more is not uncommon. But even the best power supply is not 100 percent efficient, and some power is always lost during the conversion process. Power efficiency is defined as the ratio of output power to input power, and is an important parameter for all types of power supplies. Power efficiency is usually expressed as a percentage, and since output power will always be less than input power, power efficiency will always be less than 100%. Power efficiency is normally measured using an oscilloscope, voltage probes, often differential voltage probes, and current probes. Since power is the product of voltage and current, we need four oscilloscope channels to measure power supply efficiency. Two channels are used to measure the input voltage and input current, and two more channels are needed to measure output voltage and output current. Input and output power are both calculated from the measured values of voltage and current, and then power efficiency is calculated by taking the ratio of output to input power. This can be done either using a scope's math channels or an automated measurement function or routine. In many cases, power efficiency is measured over multiple acquisitions, and results are then presented as statistical values, such as max, min, mean, standard deviation, etc. Let's take a graphical look at power efficiency measurements. On the input side, a voltage probe, often a differential probe, is used to measure input voltage, and a current probe measures the input current. Similarly, on the output side, a second pair of voltage and current probes is used to measure the voltage and current at the output. As can be seen in this illustration, power efficiency measurements therefore require a total of four oscilloscope channels. The efficiency of a power supply or converter often depends on the operating conditions, and therefore efficiency is also typically measured at different operating conditions. For example, efficiency may vary with input voltage, or it may be dependent on the load or output current. It's important to remember that many modern power supplies have very high efficiency, so accurate measurements of voltage and current are needed to determine the very small difference between output and input power. Therefore, the oscilloscope and the probes used in power efficiency measurements should be both highly accurate and have the lowest possible noise. As with other current measurements, the current probe should be properly degaussed and zeroed, and the voltage and current probe should be properly de-skewed in order to obtain precise power values. Please see the separate presentations on current probes and de-skewing if you'd like to learn more about these topics as well. Let's end with a brief summary. Although many modern power supplies and converters have very high efficiencies, none of them are 100% efficient, and some power is always lost during the conversion process. Power efficiency is therefore defined as the ratio of output power to input power usually expressed as a percent value. Power efficiency is normally measured with an oscilloscope and requires four channels, two channels for the input voltage and input current, and two more channels for the output voltage and output current. Because efficiency often changes depending on operating conditions, it's commonly measured over a range of input voltages for different loads. Although it's a relatively simple measurement, the high efficiency of many modern power converters makes this measurement challenging. High accuracy is needed in both the oscilloscope as well as the probes, and procedures such as de-skewing, de-gaussing, and zeroing 
are also important in obtaining accurate, repeatable measurements. This concludes our presentation, Understanding Power Efficiency Measurements. If you'd like to learn more about power measurements, power electronics, oscilloscopes or probes, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.